What's up guys, John here with another video for you. This time I'm going to list my must-have free Mac programs. Uh, these are some programs that I use all the time and can't live without. And uh, some of them you may know about, some of them you might not. But they've been helpful to me and hopefully they'll be helpful to you. Uh, you can find the name of these programs and a link of where to download them up there in uh, the notes section. So the first program that you gotta have with a Mac, and these are things you should download you know, right after you uh, open your computer, is a program called Flip for Mac. And what that does is it lets you play WMV files, which are a window, <coughs> excuse me, a Windows Media based file uh, on your Mac. And uh, it works just in your uh, QuickTime, so it opens up no problem, just like any other video file. It is an absolute must have because a lot of files out there are in WMV. A lot of the streaming video too that you see on CNN.com. Um, also need this player to uh, to work just like it would on any Windows. So flip for flip for Mac must have. Another cool program is a program called App Delete. And in one of the nice things about Macs is to delete, delete a program you just drag the icon to the trash. But unfortunately that can leave some remnants of the program in the registry. And what App Delete does, it opens up an icon and essentially you just drag the program to that icon and it deletes everything associated with that program. Um, really quick, really easy, and it's a piece of, piece of cake. So uh, app delete is the one you guys gotta have. Um, another one that I'm sure you guys are all familiar with and most of you are probably using is Firefox. Uh, Firefox is a Mozilla based browser based on their uh, Gecko engine I believe. I use Firefox, I love Firefox, I think it's a great browser. It doesn't crash. Uh, not a knock on Safari. I never really even used Safari, I was just used to Firefox from uh, from Windows, so that's what I use. Um, highly recommend it if you're looking for another browser. Uh, the next program, excuse me, for those of you guys that use Gmail, like I do, is a program called Google Notifier. And what it does is it puts a little uh, envelope up on your um, the top bar of your computer, and when you get new emails, it lets you know, and it lets you know how many new emails you have. It's really handy. Um, Especially for me, I get a lot of emails from uh, from you guys, you know, new comments and uh, questions and stuff. So it's nice to know when they're there, so I can um, try, I know, try to get back to you guys as soon as I can. Um, so that's Google Notifier. Uh, another cool program, one I don't necessarily use all the time, but I do use sometimes, and I know one that you guys like is something called I Alert You, and essentially what that is is a um, it's an alarm for your Mac. It takes advantage of some of the motion sensors in um, the MacBooks, MacBook Pros, and I believe the new MacBooks have them as well. So what it does is you set this I alert program. It sounds like you're setting a car alarm. It beeps at you, and if somebody moves your laptop or opens your laptop, a car alarm actually goes off, and you can set it to take a picture with your built-in iSight camera, so you can see who's taking your computer, and it'll automatically email it to you. Uh, it's a pretty cool program. Um, so it's just an alarm. And again, guys, all the names and all the links to download these programs are going to be right up there. Another program that you've got to have if you have an iPod, an iPhone, or Apple TV, or anything like that is a program called iSquint. You know, like I and you know, squint, um, like you're trying to see. And what that does, that converts uh, a, really a cornucopia of uh, video files to be played on the Apple uh, products. And it's very, very easy. You just drag it in. You click whether you want to play on an Apple TV or an iPod and how great you want the quality to be. It also um, determines the size and you get start and that's it. It's really, really, really a piece of cake. Um, the next program that you got to have is a program called Handbrake, like Handbrake on a car. And what that does is it lets you rip DVDs. So it'll pull off um, the video off a of DVD so you can watch it on your iPod or iPhone or Apple TV or your computer. Uh, must have. Next program that you got to have, one that I use all the time, is uh, Neo Office. And I've talked about Neo Office before in my uh, MacBook Pro reviews, so check that out for some videos. And it's a full office suite like Microsoft's, like Microsoft Office. It's got a uh, spreadsheet, uh, a word processing program a presentation program and it lets you open up Word, Excel, PowerPoint documents. You can save them in Word, PowerPoint, Excel documents or really save them in any format you want. Uh, it's really helpful. 
And the last program that I use all the time on my Mac is Skype. I'm sure a lot of you guys use Skype too. Um, I use it for uh, video conferencing. It's free video conferencing for people that um, unfortunately don't have Macs. So if you know someone that has a PC and you want a video conference with them, just uh, have them download Skype and hook up their webcam and you guys are set. Uh, Skype is also great for um, uh, calling computer to computer. You can also use it to call internationally and call regular phone lines, but that part you have to pay for. But the computer to computer calling and video conferencing is totally free. So Skype, another uh, must have program. Anyway guys, I'm sure there are a ton more programs that you guys use and you think other people might want. So post a video response to this or post a comment on uh, this video let people know what it is. Not just um, the name of the program, but more specifically what it does and where they can get it from. Um, so hopefully we can all uh, get something new and cool. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys have. So again, the links for these are up there. Um, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Have a nice day or afternoon, wherever you are. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.